While you were using Bing to draft the best fantasy football picks, you probably missed the Coral Critter Killing Robot, the smart 3D printer of your dreams, and a non-annoying smart eyeglasses project. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where Google Glass failing to catch on is a relief to all you vain bastards. Just admit it. I think they're pretty subtle. VSP is the nation's largest provider of vision care insurance, and it got up to something kind of surprising while issuing those glasses refunds. It started incubating Project Genesis, a prototype for health tracking glasses. It has a gyroscope, accelerometer, batteries, the works. But the whole idea is that they are smart glasses that are not obnoxious. Just beautiful and covetable. And oh, by the way, there's uh, some technology inside. They want to build even more sensors into it, like a heart rate monitor or a skin sensor to measure sweat. They're beta testing with VSP employees right now. Anytime someone says they don't care about tech because it's just a bunch of expensive gadgets, tell them about this. Researchers at Queensland University of Technology invented an autonomous robot submarine that is protecting coral reefs from a kind of starfish that eats coral. Normally, human scuba divers take care of these guys, but now this 65-pound bot is bringing balance to the ecosystem with death. It has an integrated injector system loaded with a toxin that kills them. A small fleet of cot spots can clear 99% of a reef in a few days. Obviously, we need the reefs, but no word yet on which bot is going to take care of the biggest threat of them all, the humans. And when they grab you with those metal claws, you can't break free because they're made of metal and robots are strong. 3D printing fans, feast your eyes on the new joy of your life. MIT dreamt up this Uber machine that can print in 10 different materials simultaneously. And amazingly, it only cost about $7,000 and consists of off-the-shelf components. It's especially interesting because not only can it print out lenses, circuit boards, plastics, and wiring, but it is machine vision enabled. That means it can 3D scan as it prints, allowing it to self-calibrate and print corrections. Basically, it's the smartest, just like those kids at MIT. Nerd! Nerd! And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because words. Facebook's WhatsApp hit 900 million users. The Justice Department got strict about how cops can use Stingray to track cell phones. Disney held its first Force Friday event and sold a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Nine brands of net-connected baby monitors are found to be silly easy to hack. UT Arlington researchers patented a real-time robot learning system. And too many products to list were revealed at the IFA conference in Germany this week. That's all the weird for the week. See you Wednesday because holiday times. Bye.